Good afternoon, friends. My name is Sergey Kromchenko, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Aside of professionally teaching people, I also work as a QA manager. But today, we're going to talk about Jira. I'm going to show you how Jira looks like and how do we create bug reports. Let's go! Okay, here is the Jira. So, as you guys are already familiar with the Jira dashboard that I explained in a video, click on the link above if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you know what this dashboard looks like and that this column means we have a list of issues that developers need to work on, list of in progress, list of them are done. So let's go and create a new issue. For example, you have been going through your app and you found out that you cannot log in whenever your email contains an extension .ru. So then the issue would have following title. User is not able to log in with email extension dot rule kind of Russian uh, so in a title you always need to consider consider explaining three things in, even though it should be short but it, sh it should explain what happened and it's it's right here user is not able to log in then where it happened since we're saying to log in it already means login page and the third question is under which circumstances and this one is explained with an with an email extension dot ru. I think we need to say an email extension. Awesome. So then in a description, you need to specify uh, number one, prerequisites, if we have any. Uh, and our prerequisites would be existing user account. And then we would also specify steps to reproduce. First step, let's call it navigate, navigate to a login page. Second step, type in username, uh, type in email into email text box. Yeah, I misspelled this one, email. Then a third one would be pretty much the same thing. Oops, pretty much the same thing, but with a type in password, type in password into password text box. First step, click on login button and then actual result. Adder, an acceptable email, for example, unacceptable email address and then expected result user was able to log in so these are the most important parts of the bug report title and then steps to reproduce and actual expect result. Also, you know, every company will have its own thing that you need to fill out. For example, assignee. You know, you might have to choose someone's uh, someone's name. For example, I'm going to assign it to Ilya Vlaso. Let's say he's a developer. Then label. You can come up with the uh, maybe your company does include some label, and let's call it QA fix. Uh, then attachment. Attachment is, in my opinion, a must thing because as soon as you add an attachment, developer will be able to clearly see what adder was and which page it was. Um, also, let's see. Yeah, we do not have any other labels, uh, labels or uh, text boxes to fill out, but as you can see, it's all configurable and our companies might have a priority where we need to specify how important this bug is. So let's go ahead and create it. And you can see that now it is in to-do list. And as soon as developers finds this ticket and figures out that it's an important one that needs that he needs to fix, then he would move it into the in progress and start working on it. And as soon as he's done, he would move it into done. Once again, there, there can be multiple columns since every company has its own process of bug tracking. This is the super simple example, but 
it gives you enough information to understand the basic process uh, of a Jira bug tracking system. Great, now you know what Jira is and how to create bug reports and when do you need to create them. Thank you for your time, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big fat thumb up, subscribe to our channel and if you'd liked or did not like this video, leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.